Welcome to stage four of the Giro d'Italia from Catania to Caltagirone, 202 kilometers. And it's the first stage in Italy, in Sicily to be precise. And here we go, the first big acceleration. And that's one of the, I think that is Zardini goes. Zardini on the attack. Very good climb up from William Priestina. Most of his team are out the back looking after the sprinter, of course. But good move here by Zardini. And it looks like a, it's Conti, I think, who has got into his wheel. And Conti is the younger man at 25. And Conti accelerates away. Oh, look at this, the strength of Conti. He's left. Zardini in his wake. 25 seconds now, Rob. Well, only just under 9 k's go. This is a strong, strong ride by Valerio Conti. Well, he's just outside the top 10. He's only 30 seconds back. Oh, oh no, no, it's no, a no, crash. No. Oh, what has happened here? A big bottleneck. So we're up outside the three kilometers to go board. To any rider caught behind. It counts. If this counts, 20 seconds for Conti, but more importantly, who is going to be caught behind this? That looks like it's uh, that's uh, Andre Zeitz. Let's have a look at this again. How far down? It's right in. Oh, it's right up it's the right front. In the front. Right so a couple of riders front. got through on the inside, but numerous riders, Rob, are going to be caught behind here. It is Tosh van der Sander who has now neutralised the attack of Valerio Conti. It is all back together. The van der Sander is a very light, very strong rider. Jack Hagen is in second wheel at the moment. Get very close to the mud. And here's a Yates in third wheel. And it looks like oof, that was it. One rider's gone down. It's Max Schachmann who has crashed. The best young rider of the Giro d'Italia has come to grief. Look at the gap starting to open up. You cannot afford to do that in this late stage. He certainly can't. It's one of the riders from Bora who's let the wheel go here. Well, I say let the wheel go. And now Jack Hay kicks the front. He's had a fantastic year. One kilometer in the Giro d'Italia. Finishing up here in Caltaterone. There's a left turn at the moment. Three for four riders are now just riding clear. What a finale this is going to be. Definitely Formolo also in the mix. Yep, Formolo is there. He's got teammates Yates as well. Woods puts a Vivo on at the left-hand side. This is the last few hundred metres now. Tim Wellens in the centre of your screen. Also in the pink there is Woods. Potsavivo now goes on the right-hand side. Bowman, I think it is, in the centre of your screen. Rowan Dennis in the pink jersey is there. But Rowan Dennis is also there. I think this is Bowman accelerating. This is a fantastic ride. Wellens is in the slip three now. Wellens goes. Tim Wellens starts to open things up. Tim Wellens of Belgium is in the centre of your screen. Michael Woods is just behind. Woods. Wellens from Belgium and Lotto, Tim Wellens takes the stage, what a win, Woods is in second place, where is the pink jersey, what a ride by Tim Wellens. Well, big ride there by the rider from Froome. It looks like he's gone down actually, I wonder if he got held up in that crash. He certainly conceded several seconds there at the very least. The stage results confirmation, Wellens wins the stage from Michael Woods of EM Education first draft pack powered by Camadell. Enrico Battalion is in third place. Simon Yates took fourth in the same time as Wellens. Unchanged at the top, Dennis still leads the Giro d'Italia. Tom de Moulin in a second position at one second. Simon Yates moves up to third place. Tim Wellens with that win catapults himself up the classification into fourth at 19. Pelle Bilbao still solid in fifth. Quite remarkably, Max Shackman moves up the classification despite crashing with three kilometers to go.